Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We're pulling from serendipity, tarot, uh, sacred signs and symbols. So far, we have ladder in the reverse. We have rose being unsure so the latter being in a reverse means that there's stagnation there is no elevation and also a locked door impenetrable blockage and closed off you've been dealing with somebody that's been closed off and somebody who's unsure on how to apologize or how to uh, be romantic in a situation um, because of their energy yeah they move slow so you've been waiting on an individual. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see that card right there. It came in the reverse. Yeah, the donkey. So here it is. They're at this point or you're at this point to where you're just like, I'm done with dealing with stubborn people, somebody who isn't happy or isn't uh, grateful for me. And so who doesn't know how to apologize, who doesn't know how to communicate and who only deals with stagnation and moves slow because they're extra cautious and they have a hard exterior, the turtle, which is in the... Uh, um, at the bottom of the deck and so you're just kind of tired of the stagnation so what you're doing let's see sorry we're going to pull from what's the tea because the donkey being in the reverse and the rose being unsure you're just like this person doesn't know what they want and I'm tired of waiting for this um, to happen you know I'm tired of waiting for something to happen for something to take place it's like you have done everything you could possibly do when it comes to dealing with this situation and you know what it's just a matter of look at that travel yeah you are unsure about moving um moving moving forward or even enjoying yourself because you don't want to move on with this person yeah boss daddy because at some point in a situation you know they do have big d energy or is very confident they might be stable they might be you know have a little money um, they might be a business owner or a ceo but this person does not know how to deal with their emotions these cards came out i'll go ahead and take them um yeah jackpot yeah winning money uh got rich it says inheritance unexpected money and then it says marrying for money but it also says caught a case uh this could be anything, you know, it could be, you know, yeah, love triangle, third party energy. So something could have happened. A romantic offer could have been a dirty offer. So the things that they give is situations to where it has to do with money. That's how they got to see the CEO status or boss status, because they'll do anything for money except deal with their emotions. If that makes sense, I don't know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but the dirty offer is that there was a love triangle, caught a case, so this here is not a, <laughs> let's just say the the try, okay, so the love triangle, romantic offer, a romantic love affair and dirty offer, and it says caught a case, and it's like, if this is what it is, I don't want to put that out there, but again, when it comes to doing anything for money, marrying for money, and thinking they hit the jackpot behind dealing with um their ego because this is this is ego this is dealing with ego not being able to really um say what they want um not really being able to uh speak their mind to be blocked off closed off and at the same time feel like they've reached boss status jagged edge is on uh what what's like and so what it's like to be in love you know, they don't know what it's like to be in love. They often wonder, but then they run from that situation because of the fact that they're afraid to be emotional or to have some type of emotion. Yeah. So here's the energy here. Bottom of the deck, losing sleep, worry, replaying, events, thinking about you. And so this is the thing that they're realizing that they're losing you. And so you're deciding if you should move forward. Now, all of the money that they have it's still like they're in debt and it says unemployed but i think the bad credit debt and unemployed is that they're realizing that money isn't everything uh yeah they left you hanging and then we have feelings yeah so their feelings for you are like no other you had no closure they were able to sweet talk their way through certain situations but now yeah legal matter so this just tells me that you know if this offer or the romantic offer had to do with anything maybe they're paying child support or maybe they you know said that oh they're staying here so 
in the end, what they thought was glitter, what they thought glittered is not always gold. So this reminds me of, you know, this love affair that they had and catching a case. It could have been catching a case, legal matters, having a child. And also now when the, when all is said and done and all the, the, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, honeymoon stages are over when the person that they're dealing with, or maybe have a child with, um, it gets to the point to where they are tired of dealing with the bull. Well, the bad news is, is that, uh, the feelings aren't there anymore, if that makes sense. And they have taken them to court. So the debt is, is that they're in debt paying child support because they couldn't, and you know, move forward towards you and the travel of being unsure and then being able to sweet talk their way through any situation is not happening, especially when it comes to you and the way you feel. So the legal matters are you like you made your bed, you got to lay in it. And that's just kind of how I see that now they're losing sleep and they're realizing that them moving forward. Yeah, the achieving energy of what it is that they used to do. Yeah, Taurus energy comes in reverse, unsure energy. Um, you know, this is the earth energy when it comes to understanding that sometimes, you know, them having to go through all of this energy of, <clears throat> excuse me, them thinking that everybody is going to always be there, lover's energy, uh, card of Gemini, but caregiver, you are going to always be there because they're able to achieve certain things. Uh, when you are head over heels in love or when anybody is head over heels in love. But in actuality, when it comes to, you know, who decides to turn their back, um, they're realizing that you were the one that they wanted. Don Juan is here at the bottom of the deck, you know, so this Don Juan is losing sleep over their big daddy status that took them so long to be able to get to a point to where they could come, you know, they should have been able to talk to you a long time ago or to have something with you a long time ago. And here it is. You're not even giving them a second thought of this situation. They have a kid, you know, now here it is after the years have passed. We don't know how many years because we don't have the pinnacles out here yet. But, you know, it was just earth energy. So it had to be something when it came to, you know, the time that uh, it was spent in this situation. We're going to pull from the yin yang deck. Uh, yeah, rebirth. So winter. Uh, this person probably took them to court. This person probably took them to court or in winter they had a rebirth winter they really realized that their stubborn energy and the way that you guys are separated uh now you're having your wishes fulfilled because the separation and you longing from this for this energy uh yeah comes now which was in the spring of you just like you know what that's it veto is on uh it's uh your love is all i need and so they're realizing that as of in the spring, they realize that your love is all they need. That rich and uh, closed off person is not who they want to be. But again, you've got to a point to where you move forward and all that money situation and everything when it comes to dealing with, you know, the drama, the bull, you know, them thinking they always hit the jackpot. They can have their cake and eat it too. That Don Juan type energy. You're just like, I'm over it. Yeah, it says. Half truths, yeah. So you're over the half truths. You're just, you know, and that's why it comes unsure, uh, because you're over it. You know, you know that they were giving you half truths of certain sit situations working together. If they weren't willing to work with you, you're just like no. And that's the three of pinnacle type energy of working together. But you had to understand that you're not dealing with any half truths anymore. And watchful, yeah. Uh, that you're going to always keep a watchful eye if you do allow somebody to come back around. There's no more sweet talking. Yeah, mirroring. All of these cards fell out. Bottom of the deck is passion. Your passions have changed. Your passions were for this person at one point, but now the mirroring comes out sideways. And look at all these cards that come out. So the first card is walking away. Yeah, you had to walk away. They're coming to visit you. You've exposed the truth. There's a long journey ahead and the expressions have to happen. The stability is what you wanted. The unconventional was what they wanted. Look, 
the unconventional is what they wanted. You know, this is somebody who is a different culture, and normally they don't show their skin. You don't see them smoking, drinking Red Bulls, all of these things. It's unconventional. All you wanted was stability, and they rejected you. And so now you become unconventional, and your loyalty is being, uh, your loyalty was never being put to the test until, you know, hurtful behaviors happened. And now they're unsure. Don Juan comes out twice. Right. Two different card decks, two different authors. Don Juan comes out twice and left out. They left you out in the code and then it says guarded. Now you're guarded and the challenges are arising uh, for them because they realize that they've lost you, you know. So your love is all that they need, uh, which is, again, veto next chapter. I'm listening to Pandora Radio. I'm going to pull from the uh, hidden hearts, hidden secrets to see what comes out. I haven't even pulled tarot yet, but it basically tells me the same thing that, you know, you were loyal to the situation. You walked away and now moving forward, you know, you're very unconventional and you're keeping a watchful eye on everything. And you're exposing the truth before TP2.com is owned by R. Kelly. Hit it hard from the back. Y'all know I can't sing. Um, but, you know, he wanted to he wanted 12 play. And so um, that is what they got is 12 play. And now. People are playing games, yeah, mistakes. They realize that they made mistakes, and uh, here it is. Uh, the mistakes, yeah, healing. They needed to heal, uh, and they were unsure on how to heal. But you tried to show them how to heal. You tried to show them how to have unconventional love. But now here it is. They feel like, you know, the negative minds. When I see the witchcraft, the hurt, uh, curse cards, the, neg um, the hexing, all that stuff, that – that is to me somebody um speaking ill on you and so when that happens you have to just go ahead and say you know what excuse me it's meant for you to feel this way if you're going to talk to me that way i send strength and healing just period and nothing else behind that you're not going to let this get the best of you anymore you're just going to move forward when it comes to their insecurities and the things that you try to deal with and at the same time so yeah and this was when you were chasing the thrill of the feelings like i said that the honeymoon stage you know having a good time being excited behind this thing but you change your perspective in the situation and realize that you're better off you know you have a clear headspace and the happiness is there within you it has nothing to do with someone else and so when those things happen you have to be the one to change your perspective become guarded and really kind of realize that you're guarded you're the same guarded that they are so when it says reflection and mirroring which is somewhere in here you had to learn from them so remember no man is your enemy, no man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And this lesson was to learn to be guarded and to pick your battles and to understand the difference between hurtful uh, energies when it comes to somebody who is not a, not sure what they want. Life Goes On is on by Jim, uh, Jim Jones, I was about to say, or by Donnell Jones, you know, and that's the thing. Life does go on. That Don Juan energy is just like, you know what? You had to realize and mirror their energy of, you know, being closed off, blocked, to be unconventional, to pr focus on your stability because you were left out in the code. So we have Lyran, we have LVL8 consciousness, and we have spiritual elder, and then we have the Octorian. The Octorian is gifted in div at divination and channeling, leader in communities and workplaces, here to advance and innovate. And so this is what you wanted to do. Um, between the Octorian and the, oh gosh, what is the other one called? Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's going to drive me crazy. Uh, it's another one. Um, darn, I can't think of it. It was on, I had it, it came out the other day. Hold on, I'm about to cough. Somebody's throat chakra is off because I hadn't, ha haven't coughed all day. The, um, oh gosh, that's going to drive me crazy, but it's not the Octorian. Is it the Octorian? Hold on one second. I think it is the Octorian when it comes to, sorry, my son just handed me my phone. Um, it was it the Octorian. I can't think of the name of it, but anyway, uh, basically when it comes to, no, 
Octorian is right here. I'm sorry. I'm seeing the Octorian. That just shows you where my brain is at and why I have to do the things that I do the way that I do them. But um, it was another one. But anyway, I'll, go in, I'll get to it when I can. But basically, you're learning from um, your your archetypes or the people or the uh, universe and your your spirituality is changing because again you're looking at it from a different perspective i'm going to keep looking at this but i'll go ahead and finish reading where is it at not the siren uh, oh my gosh i watched a documentary on these energies but yeah so we have the lyron is here the lyron says not the draconian Oh my goodness. They have like the purple faces. Hold on. I'm about to cough again. I don't know what's going on. But um yeah. Hold on. Yeah, somebody's throat chakra is off. But when I was saying what I was basically saying is that um when it comes to the energies of you learning who you are and understanding that, you know, when it, when you are dealing with certain people the only thing you can do is uh, move forward and not allow the energies to uh, mess with you and go from there but you know sometimes you just have to get to the point to where you're really realizing that it's a hurtful energy but you learn from people's energies you learn from the pain that you go through and no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your pol polarian wait nope it's not the polarian nope 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 no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher and this person plays thing or such pleadian the pleadians right here so um uh yeah it says you understand polarity and balance here to help the human race evolve and challenger of social norms so again you you let this person be who they felt like they were but your energy of you you know being patient comes with a time frame and when is that time when enough is enough my friend always says you know when you're tired of being tired so life goes on it says excel in physical activities binge in physical joys freedom fighter from a fling to fling from go from fling to flings and hardly settle so um you know this is the energy that you were dealing with you know and so it says uh the LVL8 consciousness, your ego is beginning to crumble. You master the energy you channel. The energy can influence other actions, others' actions. And then it says, build your elder. It says, <clears throat> um, destined to become a spiritual elder, easily discern truth from illusion, non judgmental, and unconditional love. That's your energy, but this person had to learn from that. So remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. The lesson that you learned is that this is a higher thing. This is for you. All the Don Juan type energy, the, the energies of you accessing and letting everybody access your loyalty and your energy uh, causes you to be hurtful. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. And now we have Tyrese on um, uh, signs of love making. You know, R. Kelly and Tyrese are both uh, Capricorns. And uh, Donnell Jones is a Gemini and so here it is those types of energies that are there they're cocky <clears throat> but at the same time they're loving especially when they learn and they find somebody that they love you just have to be the one who shows them something different that they're not used to because again the Don Juan energy and them and somebody displaying their loyalty comes with them and their ego being boasted and 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 growing and here it is when you say I cut you off nine times out of ten if I cut you off you handed me the scissors when you do that you're the you're the first person who's ever made them feel yeah in the revert uh, in the excuse me unsure energy fulfillment wishes you're the first person that cuts them off the waiting game and makes them actually wait and so they're unsure what they're supposed to do right now there's no balance here they're not getting the things that they want wish fulfillment they're not uh, you know, they're waiting or unsure about when this is going to happen or when you're going to change up and also waiting for you to just balance out and go back to who they met in the beginning, but they don't realize who you are. You're a person who's able to move forward. Yeah. And to make decisions when you get to a point to where somebody takes your kindness for weakness. So this is in the reverse positive movement forward. 
this is not positive for you. <clears throat> Somebody's throat chakra is so off, but um, I'm literally choking. But when it comes to the eight of wands being in the reverse, this is somebody panicking and slowing things down and kind of waiting for you to make the right decision. And so uh, when it comes to, yeah, uh, five of wands energy, financial and material changes, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to financial and material changes, you have to understand that this being in the upright is, you know, conflict and disagreements. And so you have to get to the point to where you are doing things for yourself. I'll turn this card over, which is conflict and defeat. Yeah. So you feel conflicted. You feel defeated. You feel like, you know, everything that you've done is the five of cups energy, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. But at the same time, prosperity begins. You have to start over or they have to start over um, Ace of Pentacles energy for new opportunities to be able to manifest and to be able to be abundant. But <clears throat> This also comes with building a foundation. Do you see two hands here? Do you see the, um, what is it called? The, uh, I was going to say Mother Earth. Why can't I get this? Uh, what is this called? <clears throat> tree of life. The tree of life and things growing. So they have to understand what it takes. But temptation comes with them understanding that, you know, this is devil energy. You know, being, being aware of their appetites, you know. And so their appetites also causes you to reflect and to give them a taste of their own medicine and so that's you seeing it from a different perspective but also realizing that your passions you know can be hurtful you know it causes hurtful behavior you know when it comes to your loyalty because people always think you're going to be there and that you'll never walk away <clears throat> excuse me until you do and so the type of energies that we we run across are the Don Juan energies you know, and so that is where no matter what person, you know, like I said, two cards, two different authors, same, same thing. You're going to keep running into the same energy no matter how many times you try to walk away. And same with them. Lonely is on by Jahim. <clears throat> no matter how many times you try to um, move forward, you're going to keep dealing with these same patterns. That's where the wheel energy uh, goes and it's like round and around and around rolling with it, going with the flow and just, you know, keep repeating the cycles until you learn from them. Yeah. So that's the thing that I see. You're going to keep repeating these same patterns until you really learn how to deal with them. And the patterns are going to hurt more and more and more. They're going to be hurtful until you decide to walk away and learn and become the spiritual elder and teach the people that go through the same thing, what you're going through, you know, and what you've been through. And it's just like being non-judgmental and having unconditional love. And even maybe at one point teaching this person how they hurt you. And that's what separation brings. It brings <clears throat> knowledge of what you've been through. And the Octarian, again, it says gifted at divination and challenging leader in communities and workplaces here to advance and innovate. And so that's what you're doing. But here's the thing. You have to be able to say what it is that you've been through and not go back through it and understanding that your caregiving nature and even though it's doing what makes your heart happy, it also comes with the price of you, <clears throat> excuse me, really having to deal with your spirit and really having to understand why you're going through these types of energies and that's where you planted the seed at. And that's where spring came in at because winter is when there was a um, rebirth and spring is when you're planting new seeds uh, for growth. And so if that makes sense, uh, I'll go ahead and pull from your energy because that was their energy. <clears throat> this is the modern love tarot. But yeah, you just have to understand that when it comes to you trying to, you know, uh, well, it's both of you guys learning and reflecting and it's you reflecting from your temptations and the toxicities that you love, your codependent natures that makes you you. But it's not a, a disrespectful thing. Respectfully, it's you learning how to not let people walk over you and go from there. And so, yeah, the Knight of Swords and, yeah, and being hangman and go after the things that you want. Be tough, be ambitious, know what you want and go after it in a single-minded determination. You want stability. And that is what you have to provide for yourself is stability and to be able to express yourself 
no matter what in any situation because see you hesitate <clears throat> excuse me if you go back to the movie drop dead fred i always i always tell you guys about the kids movies look at this so the empress stayed in my hand yeah the empress energy is you being able to create because I create out of conflict you see what i'm saying so you walk away and you create but creation comes from conflict and no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. The passions, what you're passionate about is what you're learning from. And so you are learning to create <clears throat> and to express yourself, but it also comes with your empathetic nature, two of wands energy, making a decision, and also two of swords energy, trusting in your decision and trusting that this is not what you want. You don't want to be in a bed with somebody that you're sleeping with forever more is on. Uh, by R. Kelly, but you don't want to be in the bed with somebody. You guys are looking at the phones and not communicating. You want to be able to trust in everything and make the tough decisions of weighing your options and avoiding this negative energy. And <clears throat> excuse me, if you're at an impasse with somebody or if you're in a point to where you guys aren't uh, working together, you have to be able to plant a seed for growth or um let somebody really understand seven years is a long time um, and it's a long investment that you've made and you're not willing to make it anymore. You're going to eight of pentacles, work on yourself. You guys are either going to work on yourself, work on this relationship or work on each other, work on the, the things separately because the eight of swords energy, you're not going to be, and pain and misery misery anymore and overthink certain situations you know and restrict yourself from anything physically mentally and emotionally so that comes with understanding where the burdens lie ten of wands energy that you're doing everything this is a one-sided relationship or situationship and at some point three of cups you want to be able to celebrate and to be able to enjoy life and you're not doing that in this energy of the Eight of Swords, overthinking. So that is where I see this energy at. <clears throat> I'm going to pull from the uh, Surrender, what is this called? The Power of Surrender cards uh, to see what comes out. But yeah, you just have to be able to understand what you want, the stability, and to be able to express yourself and to communicate without feeling bad or without staying or out, without taking things personally and having conflict behind what your decisions are. You're going to basically move forward and go from there. We have surrender to trust. Yeah, you have to trust in your abilities. Surrender to your soul's path. It says your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. And so no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. And that is why you're surrendering and you're trusting in yourself and not within somebody else. And it says trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. And that is why your wishes are being fulfilled because the challenges bring you to a point to where you're able to I didn't even see this card page of Pentacles energy yeah do the work for yourself have childlike thoughts and be able to manifest your dreams which is again you know if you ever listen to me I always wanted a treehouse and I let a lot of things stop me and this is planting the tree and doing the work to be able to get to that point but you have to be able to see it and trust in what you say and not with what not trust in anybody else's uh, opinions of what it is that they feel like is good for you or not and so that's where the ceo comes in at because they're very critical over what you decide to do but not over the things that they do they want to have conflict when you decide to move forward or when you say what you want, it's never good enough for them. So you're just going to trust in your path and not with what they want <clears throat> out of a situation. I'm going to pull from the spiritual uh, journey, spiritual journeys oracle deck, and then see what comes out. And then we're going to let this energy go. Um, oh, heart opening. It says Ahata Anahata is the energy of love within you. Opening the heart chakra fills you with love forgiveness and compassion so you're learning to forgive this person and trust in yourself and so that is where i say send strength and healing to a person place thing or a situation because no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher 
The healing light says, imagine yourself surrounded by an amber light envelop it, em <clears throat> enveloping you, enveloping you, I think, I don't know what it is, env enveloping, enveloping you in love, compassion, and protection. Let all unwanted thoughts and circumstances melt away. So you're surrendering to the trust within your, pa your path, and you're not worried about what others have to say in regards to that. Let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. Yeah, and then from the, uh, well, I say that backwards, the crystal deck and the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective, it's up here. It says be impeccable with your words. Again, learning to express yourself. Release the need to be right. It says when you believe something, you assume you are right, and you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Don't defend your position. Don't, don't, how somebody feels. That was so gross. Sorry, I burped. How somebody feels is their opinion. You have to surrender to the trust of what you want, your soul's path, how you feel, not how somebody else feels or how somebody else wants you to be. You have to surrender to that. And that's a part of the third eye and the crown chakra. It's pur it's purification, spirituality, and protection. Spir purification, spirituality, and protection. And that's the amethyst. It's right here, right there all around here somewhere and it says infinite possibilities are available to me infinite possibilities are available to me and that's the amethyst so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys